Hi, I'm Chris Hodge from the OpenStack Foundation, and in this video I'm going to give a demonstration of Pike, the 16th release of OpenStack. We begin by logging into the OpenStack dashboard. OpenStack is one platform for all of your compute, networking, and storage needs. We're going to begin by launching some virtual machines, but before we can do that, we need to set up some security settings so that we'll be able to log into those machines remotely. Let's begin by creating a key pair. A key pair allows us to log into our machines without using a password using SSH. We copy the key pair to our local environment and set the appropriate permissions. The default security groups inside of OpenStack don't allow for remote access to our virtual machines, and so we create a new rule that's going to allow us to log in over SSH. We're going to launch our first virtual machine and attach it directly to our external network. We go to our images, select the image we want to boot, give it a name, Check our source, assign a flavor, check our network attachment, security groups, and key pairs. We then launch the instance. The image booted, we can check that it's attached to our external network and has a fixed IP address from that network assigned to it. Another model for networking in OpenStack is to have a private network connected to the external network through a router, and to assign a floating IP address to machine instances. We're going to demonstrate that now by first creating a private network with the subnet of 10.0.0.0/24. Enable DHCP and create the network. Neutron's created a private network for us. We now create a router and attach it to our external network. With the router created, we can add a new interface to it that connects to the private network. Our private network created, let's launch a new instance. Again, go to the images page, select launch, give the instance a name, check the source, assign a flavor, this time attach it to the private network, and check the security groups and key pairs, and then launch the instance. The image has been assigned an IP address on the private network, but we also want to attach a public floating IP. So we allocate the IP address and assign it to our machine. You can check to see that it's booted inside of the console tab. And you can also see that this machine instance has been brought up on the private network. So now let's log in using the key that we created earlier in the video. Now that we've created a couple of compute instances, let's manage our storage. With OpenStack Cinder, you can create block storage to attach to your virtual machines. And so let's start by creating a three gigabyte data volume. And then we can attach that data volume to the compute instance that we just created. The attachment is complete on device VDB. Switch back to our machine instance that we logged into earlier. And let's format our new storage. Then we mount the storage. And we can see that it's mounted with the size that we've requested. OpenStack also provides Swift Object Store. We're going to demonstrate this by creating a public container, which we'll call images. 
and then we'll upload an image to that. Once the file is uploaded, we can look at the container status, copy the link to our image, and download it directly. Everything we've demonstrated in this video can be automated using the Heat Orchestration Engine. We're going to demonstrate this with a heat template that creates several different networks and attaches them with routers, starts up virtual machines and attaches them to the different networks, and creates permanent storage to attach to those virtual machines. Within minutes, we're going to be able to create a new web app. We start by loading in the file for the template and setting the environment, giving a name for the stack and providing our password. We hit launch, and then we can monitor the progress of creating the stack. With this simple script, we're creating 16 resources that are being entirely managed by the heat orchestration engine. And once the stack is up, we see that we've created a complex network infrastructure with several machine instances attached to it for different roles, such as database and worker and web app. And our application is ready to start serving pages. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of OpenStack Pi. Thanks for watching, and have a good time with OpenStack.